I had that trail name actually 10 years ago before I contracted Lyme disease. I had it for a different reason back then, and when I thought about, as I started to recover my health after more than a year of being sick with, uh, with chronic Lyme disease, persistent Lyme infection, because I, I missed it, my, my, uh, myself primarily, but my doctor too, several doctors, missed the diagnosis, and, uh, and I got really, really sick for a long period of time. When I started to finally recover, um, I thought, well, boy, that trail name sure is perfect. And I uh, decided to keep it because I'm hiking the, the Appalachian Trail, you know, primarily because I've always wanted to. And like anybody else, a life-altering illness will get you to rearrange your priorities and make you wonder why you're putting things off. So, but I also wanted to hike it to um, raise awareness for Lyme disease and get people facts that if I had had this knowledge and I thought I was knowledgeable, about Lyme and tick-borne diseases before I was infected two years ago, two years ago May, because I'm a 25-year backpacker. But I had um, myths in my consciousness that are still being put out that are absolutely incorrect about how to prevent getting Lyme and how Lyme works and how other tick-borne diseases work. It's not just Lyme, but I'm going to talk primarily about that. So I want to equip you with the knowledge that not only can keep you safe, but you can pass it on. You know, I really want to be kind of Johnny Appleseed with this hike, and you know, I'm covering my miles every day, but if I'm running into day hikers, section hikers, other through hikers, northbounders, I'm going south. I'm, I'm actually just a little north of Duncannon right now. I'll head back tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to stop and have conversations with people and get those tick ID cards that you've got in their hands, um, get my website and YouTube channel to them so they can follow up and get more information. And you can pass it on to other people. There's a couple of key facts we'll talk about. And I know you've got some people in this audience that have dealt with Lyme, are dealing with Lyme, and know a lot about it too. So we'll have plenty of time for a good Q&A and discussion about it. Um, but there's a fun, some fundamental facts that we want to make sure you get that can really improve your chances of never getting this. But if you do get it, you're getting rid of it quickly, which is absolutely fundamentally important for Lyme and the other tick diseases. <coughs> So if you guys are okay with it, um, I've actually recorded some YouTube videos that I'd like to show you today, because I also want to promote my YouTube channel. If you want more information, um, I'm going to continue to make videos all the way down the trail. A lot of them are just classic kind of AT travel log videos for a lot of Lyme patients that are following my trek, um, that are sick at home, uh, but also just the general public. But a lot of my videos are, are Lyme specific, and the three I'm going to show you are. So if, if it's okay with you guys, uh, Patty's also going to uh, film me because I'm going to try and get this up on YouTube too and make sure other people have access to what we talk about today, including your comments and your knowledge. Um, a lot of it very hard earned as veteran hikers about these diseases. And if anybody, won't put any of you all on camera, but your voice might, might get on there. And I'll try to restate your questions with my not nice loud voice so we pick that up on audio too. So I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of videos. The first one is an introductory video that just kind of tells you who I am and what my experience was and, and what brought me to this point. Yes, sir. When are you hiking the trip? Right now. Oh. I'm 1,025 miles into it. So I, as a matter of fact, today is my three-month anniversary. I saw it at Katahdin three months ago today. So I hope to finish by December 31st. I want to finish in 2013. That's been my, my plan. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. It's going good so far. It was hard at first, and I've still got a lot of Lyme symptoms I'll tell you about later, and I talk about it in the videos that I'm dealing with, and I want to talk about them because they're really common, and uh, some of you all may be dealing with them, but if you understand what they are, you may be able to identify them as a potential Lyme or tick-borne disease symptom and not do what I did, slough them off to some other cause and allow an infection to advance when you're getting signals that it's there, but they're just not commonly known as Lyme signals, you know, as, as the, the symptoms. So this, this first video I recorded in February um, in my home before I sold it uh, to go on the trail, and it's just kind of an introductory video. Hopefully it will play.